Ah, good afternoon. Welcome back to Random Dude's Workshop. So, what we know is that in the past, I have shown some 3D printing. Now, everybody and their mom is probably doing reviews and unboxing videos of the Bamboo Lab P1P new entry-level printer for printing enthusiasts. Now, I know most of my other videos have kind of been lawnmowers and miscellaneous stuff around the house, but since I am a tech guy at heart, I thought that I would go ahead and just do the basic, hey, this is the P1P, this is what makes it special. So, if you stick with me through this episode, go ahead and get the box out, and I'll kind of go through explaining some of the reasons I bought this versus a fiasco I had with another company literally a month before this was announced. So stand by and we'll get into it. So one of the reasons for getting this particular printer over others is just the ease of setup. As you can see, if you've ever set up a printer before or watched a bunch of unboxing videos, this one already comes fully pre-assembled. And all you have to do is, well, remove the packaging materials and to unmount the screws. So another advantage to the Bamboo Labs P1P is the auto calibration. So right now you can see it's wiping its nozzle, but it comes with a three point built in bed leveling system. And by three point, I mean it has three automatic adjustments underneath. You can see the three Z screws as we're looking at.
So, as you can see, extremely fast printer, uh, 21 minutes with calibration to, pen, to print this pen sheet here. Now, this isn't the best pen sheet I've ever seen, but it's definitely the fastest. And while there are a lot of little things here and there, it's a matte material. Matte naturally shows more imperfections, from my understanding, than most materials. So this is one that I printed on my other 3D printer after I got it last year, uh, the Ender 5 Pro. So this was, I think, my third or fourth bench, and it's made with Hatchbox PLA versus the Bamboo Labs mat. Um, and as you can see, this is the hatch box. So you can see the layer lines. Now this Benchy was printed in one hour and 48 minutes. Pretty clean Benchy. Then we move to the P1P straight out of the box. really about the same quality in way less time, less than a fifth of the time. So, pretty gosh darn fast. Now, as for my original on my Ender 5 Pro, after I got it dialed in and did some upgrades, this was made with Hatchbox Gold I mean, very clean at the end of its life before I sold it. Which brings me to the point of why I wanted to get the P1P in the first place. So, back in October 25th, Crowley released their Inter5 S1, which was supposed to be an upgrade from the Inter5 Pro that had been out for years. Upon receiving the Ender 5 S1, I went to set it up and did the leveling as instructed and then ran the auto bed leveling. It's not a true auto bed leveling, as you know. What it actually does is create a mesh leveling point and then the Z axis changes based on the difference from side to side. That piece basically came inoperable, which is a feature of the printer that should be working from the get-go. So after calibrating and running the auto bed leveling, which I had the BL Touch system on my Ender 5 Pro, the printer then proceeded to take the print head and run it straight into my printing sheet. So created a gnarly gash right off the get-go. And first things, first thoughts, are, hey, user error. Obviously, I didn't level it correctly. Um, I've ran BL Touch, had no issues with that. This is an official CR Touch from Creality. This shouldn't be an issue. So I went back and re-leveled the entire thing and just spent countless hours, probably 10 to 15 hours, trying to get this thing to work and going back and forth with Creality. And in the end, I got an email that said, just don't use the auto bed. And why would I buy a printer with that feature if I don't, if I'm not going to use it? Like they said, eventually firmware will fix it. We don't know when, but eventually they'll fix it. So I could stick with this broken printer from the factory, which is unacceptable or around the time of after probably just about a month of going back and forth with Creality and then refusing to send parts, they finally sent me a bed sheet, um, but still did not have a fix for it. So I finally just straight up demanded a refund essentially. And so they gave, I was able to ship it back and they refunded me, 
but right at the end of that, uh, the P1P was announced. So, uh, full disclosure is I have access to a X1 Carbon with AMS uh, through my job. So I had already had a really good experience with plug and play out of the box with that, and I thought, well, if it's basically just a boiled down version of one of those, I should go with the P1P. So only time will truly tell, but super customizable, and as you saw from the first print, super fast. So.